Aho shine wana hunata. Aho shine wana he. Thank you, great spirit. Thank you, great mother. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for tuning in. Aho. It's a simply Thursday. And I decided to come out and be on the land and do a little drumming, do a little singing, spend a little quiet time. How many of us don't take any quiet time at all? We think that quiet time is being at home with the TV on and getting lost in mindless whatever, you know, or or being in the car driving with the radio constantly. And, whoops! <laughs> whoops! There went the camera. And uh, constantly not knowing how to be in silence, not knowing how to just listen to the uh, sound of the engine, the hum of the engine or the turning of the wheels or whatever it is, how to be in our silence, a whole, a whole. Not to have to be in our doing all the time, but um, sometimes doing is just taking time out and being still and knowing when it's time to be still. I know people who use day timers and day planners and all that stuff. And it doesn't help them to get any more done in their day. What it does is it buries them even more in their day. So they feel like they're no longer getting ahead. I've watched somebody do that here in Sedona. And it's kind of funny to watch her do that. You know, it's like, I take my time. I take my naps. I, I, I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere. I'm not in a hurry to get anything done. Do I need just like everybody else? Yeah, probably. But I'm not in a hurry to be buried <laughs> or to bury myself in, a, in an avalanche of stuff that I can't keep up with just so I look good to the Joneses so I'm trying to keep up to the, with the Joneses and trying to do things that make me look like I'm successful success is that person for me who looks relaxed all the time who's not always stressing out about something Aho. Aho. who's not worried about the next thing that's going to be said or said about them or done or done for them or done to them none of those things are important where is your center point in your peace do you have a peace that grows in you and I have a, a meditation that says the peace in me the peace in me is the peace in me and the peace in me is the peace in me and the peace in me is the peace in me. And the peace in me is the peace in you. How large is the peace in you? Are you able to find peace? And does your peace grow exponentially when you say those words? Do you seek peace out or do you know don't or do you peace out? <laughs> that, well, that was uh, interesting. Do you seek peace out or do you peace out? And as far as I'm concerned, peace outing is just giving up on yourself, saying good night, that's it, uncle. You know, and uh, but I'm here to give myself peace, to find peace. And if I can help you to find peace in any way, I'd like to do that. Uh, uh, sorry about the camera falling. Um, and that's probably a little bit of me being too 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 relaxed because I'm, I'm out here on the red soil uh, I'm sitting on a wood on a piece of wood or log that might break because it's kind of thin and it's been out here for who knows how many years but it doesn't matter to me I get to sit down and squat on the earth and uh, play this beautiful drum and sing those beautiful songs na nato no nene nato no nene nato no nene um, I don't know what that song means yet it's been with me for about three years but I don't know what it means yet. It hasn't been revealed to me. No. No. So peace can be revealed to you if you allow the revealing of your peace within you. Oh. Oh. Allow the revealing of your peace within you. Well, Anthony, walking crow, how do I do that? Sit on the sofa, sit on your hands, close your eyes, and listen to yourself breathe. Just listen to the sound of your breath. Listen to the moments of silence between the breath. Oh, and listen to it until it becomes blurred and you can't tell where the silence is begin, begins and, and, and the um, silence ends, where the breath begins and the breath ends. Oh, it takes you where it takes you. And it'll take you to a place of calm. It'll take you to a place of journey. It'll take you to a place of 
a, a meditative state where you might feel grounded and you can't even get up off the couch. What a great thing to happen. You might even fall asleep, which would be the best thing because that's when the medicine comes. You know, we get the most medicine when we're asleep. I do. I'm working all night long in my sleep and the guides are working on me and with me. And um, there's a lot of people who, you know, reach out to me and say, Anthony, you came to me in my dreams. You were in my dream last night. Well, that's the way the work works. That's the way the medicine works at home. So find the peace in you that turns into a piece in you of the peace in you. Aho. Aho. Walking crow for the transformational sacred drum medicine. Again, sorry about the camera falling over. That's just my my um, being a little uh, too relaxed uh, today. But I'm going to sing us out. I don't know what I'm going to sing, but I'm sure the guides will tell me as soon as they know. Or they'll just tell me as soon as I start drumming. Aho. Aho. Thank you, Great Spirit. Thank you, Great Mother. Aho, Shinoana. Hey, thank you, my brothers and sisters, for tuning in and allowing to share my peace with you. A little piece of my peace. Aho. And as we go, the peace between you and I will get bigger. And we'll have more understanding of what it is to be in peace. Aho. Aho. Walking cruel for the transformation of sacred or medicine asking you to have a beautiful and blessed day. But before I turn the camera off, I want you to listen to the still small voice of the wind. Oh.